Here's our Geico tale of the tape for this women's lightweight affair. Elena Kaleshnik is the older fighter. She's also three inches taller, weighted one pound heavier. A reach advantage favors Kaleshnik on both the arms and the legs. To you, Lillian Garcia. We continue now in the women's lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Standing at five feet, six inches tall, she weighs in officially 154 pounds. This mixed martial artist is undefeated with a record of three victories over zero defeats. Fighting out of Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, here is Abigail Brave Monte. Her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She is a boxer. Standing five feet, nine inches tall, she officially weighs in at 155 and one quarter pounds. In 10 professional fights, she has a record of five victories, four losses, and one no contest, with all five wins by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Odessa, Ukraine, here is Olena Cannon Kolesnik. Your referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson set to oversee the action here. Three five-minute rounds at 155 pounds. Elena Kolesnik in the blue, Abigail Montes in the gray, and it's hard to even put into context the situation that Mama, Elena Kolesnik ready? escaped Mama, in order fight. to get to this fight. Fled Kiev during the very early stages of the Russian invasion, had to be driven by a friend through Moldova. She starts off with a combination here. I mis misread my own notes about <laughs> Abigail Montez. She beat the two-time Olympic champion. She wasn't the two-time Olympic champion herself, but she does have a great strike at that. And she's going to have to put that on display. Elena Kolesnik with some serious power moving forward here. Good pressure from Kolesnik. She's cutting her off well, keeping her right at the edge of the cage. Yeah, this is exactly what she wanted to do here against Montez. It was actually PFL president of fighter operations, Ray Seffel, that helped to facilitate Kolesnik's ability to get to the United States and, of course, to Vegas to finish a training camp. She was very emotional telling the story of how she got here. Very, very grateful to be here fighting inside a cage. <laughs> nice counter striking there from Elena Kolesnik. Caught two right hands on the charging Montez. And this time Montez cracks with an overhand. Kolesnik doing a good job of moving her head out of the way of some of those punches. We didn't see that from her last season. Yeah, Montez not really able to find her range at this point. And this is the fight that Kolesnik really wanted. If you remember Elena Kolesnik's fight with Larissa Pacheco last year, she was very aggressive. She was landing big time combinations. And Randy, to your point, she charged right into a right hand that ended up putting her out. She wanted to work a lot more on the head movement. Nice combination. Montez swinging away as well. There's inside the corner of Abigail Montez. Antonio and AJ McKee. A couple of veterans of the game. McKee the younger, a Bellator champion. Interesting, we've seen Elena Kolesnik be the aggressor in past fights, Kenny. She's counter-striking here. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's waiting for Montez to throw because Montez isn't really looking at the target. She's kind of winging punches, throwing herself off balance a little bit. Kolesnik going second, landing some good shots just like that right there. Beautiful left hand right down the pipe. And I'm just surprised that Montez hasn't taken more of the approach of a grappler here against Kolesnik. That's how she was able to get the upset victory over Clarissa Shields last year in the showcase bout. And that, that really elevated her place in the sport. People didn't necessarily know much about her previous to that match. 
Nice combination and flurry from the both fighters as we approach 90 seconds remaining in this first round. Very impressed with Kolesnik's improvement in footwork, in moving her head, picking her combinations. Landed two there and then grabbed a hold of Abigail Montez, forced her into the barrier. You can see the Cajunomic stats relatively even between these two women. Corner of Elena Kolesnik. Yes. Get that hip under. Get your Justin right hip Jaynes, under. Dennis Davis. Go yep, yep, yep. Good. Elena Beautiful. able to finish her camp at Extreme Couture. Those are two of the Love instructors from Extreme Couture. Knees and legs. Near and legs. Come on. Chop your legs up. Nope, nope. Turn, we don't rest here. Montez turn, trading right places with Kolesnik now. Yes. Kolesnik not having it. Putting her back on the fence. Yeah, she has that high underhook. Doing a good job of getting head position. Nice exit there with that combination. Final 10 seconds of this first round. Montez charges forward. Kolesnik pulls the bullfighter and Olays. <laughs> round two ahead. Well, this fight has stayed on the feet. There's a nice combination there from Kolesnik as she backs up Montez up against the cage. And there's a nice exchange of kicks from both ladies there and then a Nice return of fire there from Kolesnik. Round two set to begin here in Arlington, Texas. Everybody Keith ready. Peterson Everybody overseeing ready. the action. Fight. Elena Kolesnik in the blue. Abigail Montes in the gray, circling to her left. Kolesnik takes the center of the smart cage. How about that? Fighter performance rating all tied up at 43. Nice right hand there from Abigail Montes. And you can see it has been tit for tat. 27 strikes landed so far by Kolesnik, 29 by Montez. One could make the argument that Kolesnik has landed the harder strikes in round one. A little bit of blood from the nose of Abigail Montez in the corner between rounds. Also, a small mouse under, I think it was her right eye. Kolesnik trying to time that counter right hand. Montez rewarded for some of the aggression there. Yeah, it was a nice little blitzing attack there from Montez. High kick glances off the guard of Abigail Montez. Julia Budd getting warm backstage. She'll make her regular season debut in the PFL. Push kick there from Elena Kolesnik. Montez pushing forward now and, and trying to bring the fight to Kolesnik. Yeah, she definitely seems way more focused, way more warmed up here, Randy. Finding her timing here, but Kolesnik isn't backing down. Kolesnik trying to be the counter puncher. Nice combination oh. right in front of nice. the broadcast position. Here comes Big Abigail shot by Montez. Montez. Yeah, she landed a beautiful right hand. She's got. Continues to do so. She's got Kolesnik on the retreat. Nice movement outside the range there for Kolesnik. Montez grabs a hold, presses her against the cage, and now gets into this single leg attempt. Thought we might see it earlier in the fight. Here she is engaging in some wrestling halfway through round two. Kolesnik with the overhook, doing some hand fighting, trying to pull Montez up, keep her up chest to chest, and off of her hips. Montez with the lock, the high single, trying to walk her hips in and get Kolesnik off of her feet. Kolesnik making that very, very difficult. 
There's a look inside Montez corner, Antonio and AJ McKee. Not particularly vocal at this moment. Double underhooks here for Abigail Montes. Good head position. We'll see if she can translate that into a takedown. Nice re pummel by Kalashnik. And they continue to fight for inside position. Yeah, she definitely seems way more comfortable in that over under position, Randy. Nice uppercut oh. and a right hook to finish for Kolesnik. Montez is happy to swing away as well. Montez just needs to be careful, not look straight down as she's throwing punches. That's where she can get caught with a knee or an uppercut. Another good stiff comp. Uh, the punches by Kolesnik. Kolesnik combination is, was the word I was looking for. Yeah, she's starting to throw the straight left hand as part of combinations, and it's landing consistently here in the late goings of round two. Nice work turning out, taking the angle. I'll tell you what, significant improvement from Kolesnik this season. Man, the head movement, the footwork. And somehow doing it at that little uh, quaint gym that no one's ever heard of, Randy. <laughs> down oh, nice oh. left hand and a right comes right back. What a fight. Another combination and a big flurry here. Almost a clash of heads there. <laughs> Ten seconds oh. remain in the round. Oh, she thought it was the round. Elena Kolesnik almost got caught off guard there. Mistook the clapper for a buzzer. Ah. Round three next. There's Montez setting up a nice straight right hand right on the button. Misses with the left hook. Inside kick. Montez again putting the pressure on Kolesnik in that second round. Here, ducking her head a little bit. This Montez. Kolesnik making her pay with the straight left. Our third and final round, Elena Kolesnik in the blue, Abigail Montes in the gray. We finish the second round at a furious pace, and it appears they're intent on starting the third in the same manner. Can't put too fine a point on the emotions that Elena Kolesnik demonstrated in our talk yesterday. She said, I'm so thankful to be here donning gloves because if I wasn't donning gloves, I'd be picking up a gun in my country. It's a very real situation that a lot of her friends and her family are experiencing in her home country of Ukraine. She was, it's remarkable that she's able to stay focused on this fight, but she did say that this is her happy place. This is where she can put it all on the back burner, at least temporarily. And you can see nice aggression from both fighters here in this third round. And I really like those kicks down the middle for Kolesnik. It's establishing a good range. It's keeping Montez on the outside. No pressure, no pressure, no pressure. Yes, there it is. Come on. I'd be curious to know how this fight is being scored by the judges. A very close first round. Fighter performance rating actually had it completely tied up. A strong finish to round two for Kolesnik, but some great moments for Abigail Montez in that frame. And you can see the Cajunomic stats are still incredibly close between as the spinning back this. Hey, look, if you're going to get off balance now, <laughs> right? you might as well throw something spinning. Double underhooks again for Montez. Montez in a great position here with these double underhooks. You see Kolesnik trying to fight for that right underhook. She seems way more comfortable in these exchanges up against the cage. There's that underhook. I just like to see her throw more punches from there. She's able to flip the position here. Disengages. Another front kick. 
Inside the lane of Jaynes in the red yes, corner. Yes. Halfway, we end up halfway. Straight punches, Keep Snuffer. those straights going, keep those straights going. Hands for it. Yes, oh. let's go, let's go. Nice inside nice kick, kick by Kalashnik. Let's go, Put that straight at. Hands up, ground. left hand up, left hand high. She's gonna get desperate look for the overhand right. Move, move. Just like that, she's gonna get desperate. Keep that, gotta keep that. Abigail right Montes charging move. in, winging the big right hand. You heard the advice. Straight left lands for Elena Kolesnik. These women are not afraid to bite down and throw. Yeah, Montez really starting to pressure now. Throwing some serious heat, just lacking some accuracy. And, and, and that Kolesnik moving her head so much better this season. Mm -hmm. Tough fight to score. Both gals doing a great job. Left hand by Montez as Kolesnik kicked. Good aggression here in what for me is a very, very close fight. Kolesnik comes right back. Montez is able to move out of range. There's that push kick again, Kenny. You yeah. liked it early. Yeah, it, it's beautiful. Montez really doesn't have an answer for it. And an excellent long range weapon for Kolesnik. And then when she gets on the inside, she's throwing some really good hooks. Montez starting to get a little frustrated, it seems. And she swung a lot in this round, but she missed a lot. In right. Round. And that's a tribute to the footwork and head movement of Elena Kolesnik. Kolesnik once again. Ooh, nice right hand nice for one. Abigail Montez. Kolesnik laughs it off. Ooh. A little clash of heads. Kolesnik grabs a hold of the body of Abigail Montez, goes to work on her legs with some knees. You hear the corner of Kolesnik calling for the final 30 seconds. More knees. Take a look at our ghost cam technology. 20 seconds remain in this third round. Spinning back this attempt there for Kolesnik. Goes right back to work with the push kick as well. Time out. Right in the final 10 seconds for the mouthpiece. And they'll swing away to close this women's lightweight regular season fight. Elena Kolesnik thinks she's done enough. Abigail Montez feels the same way. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Steve Armstrong scores the contest 30-27 for Kolesnik. Judge Robert Bassinger scores it 29-28 for Montes. And Judge Aaron Menard scores it 29-28 for your winner by split decision, earning three points in the women's lightweight division, Olena Kolesnik! Olena Kolesnik, very happy to hear her name called, not just because of the points, carrying an incredible emotional burden into this fight and was able for 15 minutes to focus in and put on that performance. She earns herself a spot in the standings.